This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, Kodak Black has been wowing a little bit lately. He's kind of been calling people out. He just recently called out Master P and said that Master P wanted to charge him to be his mentor. When he put it out in the Breakfast Club that he wanted Master P as a mentor, Master P reached out to him. He went and did some charity thing for Master P's foundation. And then Master P supposedly tried to charge him now master p has since come out and said he never did try to charge him now first and foremost hit that like button i appreciate you guys for tuning in okay so now kodak black kind of called out future put him on live right and then called him on live and who knows if he didn't tell future that he was on live or anything now future has this song called coming out strong <laughs> so, and there's a questionable line on that song that says the only time i feel alive and it sounds like he says, when I taste dick. And that's a little suspect. And then a lot of people are talking to me and he says, I want to vent, but I know it ain't safe. That almost sounds like he wants to come out strong. But uh, a lot of people were questioning this. And Kodak Black said, you know, I fuck with Future and I fuck with only a few rappers. But, you know, I got to call Future and ask him about this because this is kind of suspect. And I got to make sure that, that, you know, this isn't what I think it is. So he says this. If you if you know me at all, you know I don't really fuck with too much rap niggas, you know what I'm saying? Or do too much features and shit. Niggas be dying here in Miami and be wanting to slide up on me. And, and, and I don't really be with that and shit. But niggas I listen to and, and, and I fuck with. Plies, Future, Bullshit, niggas like that, Soldier Slam. You feel me, BG, ain't too many niggas, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever. But, um, this shit right here throw me, dawg, this shit right here throw me, dawg. I gotta call, I gotta, I gotta call my nigga Future, cause, cause we be talking like business shit, like CEO shit, you know what I'm saying, like, and they don't even, like, you know what I'm saying, like, on some real nigga shit, like, 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 wanna see a young nigga win and shit, but, um, I gotta hit him up and ask him, ask him this question and shit. I'm doing it on live. I, I, I probably shouldn't even did this on live. Yo. Yeah. Hey, bro. Huh? Hey, I'm listening to this song, dog. A nigga fuck with you so tough, homie. What did you say this part right here, bro? Well, what you, what, what you said right there? The only time I feel alive when I take. When you take? Yeah, like, I take a pill. Only time I feel alive when I take. Take. Yeah, what did it go? Now, to me, this could be burning a lot of bridges, especially if he, like, he he could be burning bridges with Master P, Future, a bunch of other people just by calling people out and stuff. And, you know, a lot of people don't like that. And it could be bad in the long run. I mean, I Musically, I like Kodak Black, so I think it'll be fine, but that's a little weird. And when Kodak Black starts acting crazy like this, like he has in the past, like when he was going at Little Wayne and everything, then he finds himself in trouble with some other stuff because he, he gets too used to like being all, you know, he's, he's crazy, he's reckless. Uh, but uh, hopefully he's cool, man, because uh, I mean, I think Project Baby 2 is coming out. And, you know, he's got to stay out here for his fam and everything, man. And I, I like his music, and I know a lot of you guys do. So we'll have to check it out, man. But uh, we'll have to see. I, I wonder if Future knew he was being recorded or not. But uh, we'll have to see. Anyways, check me out on the next video, guys. Uh, talk to you later. Peace.